As a child, I liked to take things apart and, and learn how they function. Only later in my life, when I became an engineer, I discovered that the joy of putting things together and make them work is even greater. Actually, I don't have one particular game that I like the most, but I do like the games which have the exact combination between luck and strategy. The first version of Halligalli did not include the bell at all. There was the same deck of cards, but when five of the same fruit were spotted, people had to shout the name of the game. This led to some confusions and arguments, because in some cases, people shouted exactly at the same time, and they argued about who would be the winner. So, later, I introduced a disc that was placed in the center of the table, and the race was who would catch the disc first. Only two years later, when I learned about the joy of ringing the bell, it was only natural for me to replace the disc with the bell. And this is the version you are playing today. Well, the fruits was a very simple choice. All I needed was four objects clearly distinct by colors, and fruits was a very natural choice. Yes, I do play it uh, sometimes, but only with people who haven't played it before. I love to see the faces of those who play Haligali for the first time. Oh, sure. I play with my kids. I play with my whole family. I play with the friends of my kids. I play with the friends of the friends of my kids, the neighbors, and the friends of the neighbors, and whoever I can find, because when you design a new game, you have to play it as much as possible before you can decide if it's a good game or not. I, I don't think I have any special talent. I, I just have great curiosity and big hunger uh, to learn how things work. Actually, I do. Uh, try to discover what people like to do and design games that require them to do that. Yes, I do like to play with many things, because when I play with many things, it encourages me to discover what people really like to do, and I try to embed it into the games that I design. And I do believe that a good game should use as many senses as possible. My next game is a party game which involves associations and it's going to be a lot of fun.